And Bishop Malone has asked to meet with local priests and transitional deacons on Monday. But a group of Catholics will be getting together tomorrow. News 4's Shannon Smith is here to continue our coverage with more on their concerns. Shannon? Don and Jackie, the organization, <clears throat> excuse me, the organization of lay Catholics won't give any specifics ahead of tomorrow's meeting, but I'm told the group has planned a series of steps to help restore trust in the church. For some people, that may take a while, but both clergy and lay people say it is possible. From allegations of sex abuse by priests in the Buffalo Diocese to the handling of those claims, many Catholics admit their faith in the church is fading. Several of our families have left our faith formation, our religious education program, because specifically because of the scandal. Father Paul Sile says he's seeing it firsthand at St. Bernadette's Church in Orchard Park. He says he's even received a call from an abuse victim. This is a systemic problem that goes in and out of every layer of the organization. During the 60 Minutes interview Sunday, Father Robert Ziliox of Swarmville says several priests remain in ministry despite sex abuse claims against them. How many of those priests should have been taken out of the priesthood? I would argue at least eight or nine. In a statement Wednesday, the diocese says it's not aware of any priests in active ministry with claims against them and asks anyone with claims to contact the diocese so that they can be removed. And now we have more work to do if we're going to rebuild the broken church. Now a group of parishioners hopes to help put those pieces back together. Members of the newly formed organization wouldn't speak before Thursday's meeting, but are planning several events to rebuild trust in the church. Ultimately, they may be wanting to take things more into their own hands and also claim their role as the people of God, the laity. Father Sile says he doesn't think trust can be restored anytime soon, but he says with lay people and the church working together, eventually it will be. In the end, there are three things, faith, hope, and love, and we can't lose sight of that. Father Sile says he's not calling for anyone to step down, but he wants to see changes. The newly organized group of lay people will meet tomorrow at Canisius College, and News 4 will be there to bring you the details. Shannon Smith, News 4.